Hey, it's Joe from Test Talks. I'm really excited to share with you a quick clip from my interview with the creator of Selenium WebDriver, Simon Stewart, where we talk about his views on what AI is and where he sees where it fits within test automation. Really cool stuff. For the full interview, head on over to testtalks.com forward slash 210. It's oversold. <laughs> like... Uh, uh, the term artificial intelligence became so polluted that people working in that field had to rename it machine learning. And then, you know, you've got like deep machine learning. Right. And, and deep doesn't mean anything particularly clever. It just means your neural networks are like a certain depth, right? A certain size, which you can now do with GPUs and stuff like that. Um, if you treat AI as the application of statistics to a problem, um, then I think you end up with something far more interesting. So um, we generate a wealth of data from our continuous integration services, from our test runs, from production, um, from our source control system. And we're not very good at piecing that data together into information. So like the question that I would love to be able to answer is, I've made a change in this piece of code. What is the minimal number of tests that I should be able to run in order to figure out whether or not this change is, is good or bad. Because you don't want to run everything. Like the analogy I gave yesterday, I think it was like Nero in, in Star Trek. Like, <laughs> Fire everything! Because <laughs> you don't know whether or not it works. Right. Um, like we should have some precision yeah. at this point. We shouldn't yes. really be doing like blunt force trauma to our code bases. Mm -hmm. um, so we, with precision, we should be able to tell what the minimal subset of tests is. And then we should be able to figure out like, okay, normally when we run these, these tests are good, and these ones are more likely to fail. So we'll front load these ones. Because what we're attempting to do isn't run all the tests. We're not in the business of running tests. We want to be able to estimate risk of release. And we want the feedback to be as quick as possible. Um, so what you want to do is you want to front load the risky pieces. And if they look good, then life is going to be you know, significantly more likely to be good. Like you can never release with confidence that everything is going to work. Bugs happen in production all the time. But our test suites and, and the reason why we do all this stuff, and code coverage and static analysis and log analysis and stuff like that, is to give us confidence that the risk is minimal. And the more data we have and the more information we derive from that data, the better we can make a, a sort of reasoned discussion about risk and, and push into production. I've got chocolate smeared all over my face like a five-year-old. Because I just had the churros and chocolate, and I realized that I put like chocolate on here, and it's probably on my coat. Yep. And... So